This is our main line that we've set up uh, coming from the barn. We're using a three-quarter inch water line uh, coming off our well. Uh, our well is putting out 45 pounds of pressure, so we think we have enough water pressure, enough capacity to irrigate the, lawn, the hops yard with. Uh, even though it's been a real wet season, our feeling is that if the hops are really in need of water, if we have a little dry spell, that's real important that you have the water available to them, so that's why we're getting this all set up. Uh, as of right now, we haven't needed it, but we will be uh, turning it on and just uh, make sure everything's working, and then if we need the water, it will be there. This setup here, we've got a uh, valve for pressure to keep the pressure consistent, and then of course the gauge just to show how much pressure we have, and we have a meter so we can meter how much water we're putting on. Uh, all this is fairly inexpensive. A meter is probably around $60, $70, I think, we, uh, to install this, and uh, it's really important to have it so you would know exactly, we're not guessing how much water we're putting on. And then we have a timer that will allow the water to come on and uh, just irrigate so many uh, 100 gallons at a time. Our water line is, uh, what we did is we buried it underneath where we travel. Our, our intent is to keep it here uh, year round. And what we'll do is just use air and blow the line out uh, this fall when we're done using it. Uh, we buried it as, in the travel lane so that, of course, just so we wouldn't crush it. In order to hook up the half inch pipe to the three quarter inch header, you have to have uh, a reducing T that basically has three quarter inch to put into the three quarter inch main line and then a half inch fitting so that you can hook up your half inch um, polyethylene tubing that will be providing the water to your hot plants. And then once you get this T, you're actually going to fit in um, an on off switch because in most cases you're not going to be able to irrigate every line of your yard at one time. So you may have to turn lines off and on in order to provide enough water to the hop yard at one time. So for for us, for example, we can only water half of the yard um, with the amount of pressure that we have here. So when we're watering one half, we'll shut the valve off so that we're not supplying water to the other half. Once you roll out your half inch polyethylene tubing, you're going to want to put a, a cap on the end so obviously the water doesn't come out. And you can purchase these really nifty end caps um, to fit right into a half, half inch polyethylene tubing and what we did was we just heated them a little bit with a propane torch to warm them up so that we could slide them all the way in and get them all the way into the pipe and then once it, the heat cools down um, it'll be nice and tight on the tube. So here we have our um, irrigation setup where we have our one gallon per hour emitter plugged into our half inch polyethylene tubing we have our two-pronged adapter so that we can actually water two plants at once. On the adapter we have spaghetti tubing or micro tubing on each side and into the micro tubing we have these angled stakes that will actually um, emit the water from them. So you can plug them in next to your plants so that your plants are getting the water. This is very precise water application so there's not a lot of waste like there would be in overhead irrigation and put that near your plants and you're ready to irrigate.